I'm now gonna show you the seal kit from inside the grease coupler so that you can understand what's going on inside the coupler and why we suggest trying to clean it before rebuilding it. Inside your lock and lube grease coupler are four steel jaws and a cone that contains our rubber seal. Now the seal here sits inside this metal cone. We often get customers who take this out and say, I checked the O-ring at the bottom and it appears to be intact. That is good to hear, but it doesn't necessarily answer the question of why is the coupler leaking? Now the grease comes out of the grease gun here, comes up through the middle, and this rubber seal inside pushes up against the head of the grease fitting. It can move inside the cone to create the seal and prevent the grease from leaking. If the coupler ever does show signs of leaking, what has happened is that either there is dirt and grime built up inside of here, in which case it needs to be cleaned, or the face of this rubber seal has become damaged. And if there are some nicks or grooves that have been cut into that rubber, that gives the grease a way to escape out the side rather than going through that pinhole in the middle into the ball bearing and into the grease fitting itself. Oh.